Here are three things that might happen if you leave a torn ACL untreated. Number one is you might get looseness in your knee because one of the main functions of the ACL is to provide stability in your knee. It connects the thigh bone to the shin bone and it provides the most stability when you're bending your knee. It's in this motion that it's tensioned up the most and it's holding the joint together as you do your activities like standing, sitting down, any exercise activities, squats, weighted squats, definitely running, jumping, any sport activities, your ACL is constantly being tensioned and, it, and your body requires it to be there to st stabilize your knee as you're doing all those things that you love to do. If the ACL is torn, even partially torn, then it's possible that it can happen with some looseness, that the, the bending is gonna happen, but you might get popping, clicking, shifting sensations in your knee because the ACL isn't prepared to do its job all the way. Now there are other ligaments, the ACL is a ligament, it stands for anterior cruciate ligament, but there's a posterior cruciate ligament, there's a medial cruciate ligament, and a lateral cruciate ligament, and there's a bunch of tendons from muscles that cross the knee joint that all work together to also provide stability, but the ACL is pretty important, especially in a halfway bent position. The second thing that might happen if you don't treat the ACL properly is because of that looseness, you might start to develop knee pain. Now the common place to get knee pain when there's looseness is gonna be in the meniscus because that's a chunk of cartilage, this bluish thing right here that I'm moving. That is another structure that provides a lot of stability to the knee joint during motion, but if the thigh bone and the shin bone are moving on each other too much, then it grinds that meniscus and it can set you up for a meniscus tear, which can cause other problems down the road. But if you can get that ACL to tighten up by doing the right treatment. There's natural ways to do that. Surgical treatment might also help if you're a good candidate for it and if you choose to do it. But if you can get that ACL to tighten up, then you can prevent all that looseness and diminish the knee pain. So you might get patellofemoral pain syndrome, um, chondromalacia patella is where the cartilage back here behind the kneecap starts to get damaged, and other things like tendonitis and bursitis but meniscus problems are probably one of the more common issues that happen if you have an ACL tear. Now, the third thing that could happen is development of osteoarthritis. In the long term, if decades go by and your ACL was never properly treated and you had that looseness and you had some knee pain that maybe came and went, but it was chronic knee pain that never got fully resolved, then that excessive motion can allow your knee to develop osteoarthritis where the cartilage gets sufficiently damaged and the bone starts to adapt within the knee and it restricts full normal range of motion. It can ache and throb and hurt. And on an x-ray, it'll look like bumpy surfaces on the ends of the bones. This is not good because it, it, it impedes the way that you walk, it impedes your function, your ability to get up and, uh, and down to exercise. And it can lead to something like a knee replacement surgery, which is major surgery. They're cutting off the ends of your bones and putting metal prosthetics in there and although it's a breakthrough surgery and very helpful for a lot of people, it can be avoided if you simply fix the root of the knee problems, which in your case, if you had an ACL tear, is to make sure that you take tension off that ACL, put it on slack, that'll allow it to heal naturally, and then fix the muscle imbalances around the leg so that your knee joint is moving properly as you do your everyday activities and exercise and sport activities. If you wanna learn more about how to heal your ACL naturally, I'm a specialist in this. In fact, I've got a treatment approach that I packaged into a program. It's called the ACL Tear Recovery Program. It's over 40 videos of me talking you through each step of the way on how to get your ACL pain under control, how to get your ACL stronger, and then how to make sure you fix the muscle imbalances to prevent an ACL issue from coming up later in life so that you have confidence moving into all the things that you love to do. Go check out that program. There's a link in the description below for the ACL Tear Recovery Program. And I've also put a bunch of free videos into a playlist, all our YouTube videos that have to do with ACL recovery. You'll find them near the same program link down there. It's called the ACL Tear Help Playlist.